right, it's super windy here. I don't know if anyone will be able to hear me really well, but there's this beautiful marina across from me. And uh, this is just kind of another quick tip of the day, shot on my iPhone here. Uh, most people, when they see this kind of stuff, um, they'll just point it just like I'm holding it now with the marina in the background and they'll take a shot. And there's just a bunch of water in the foreground. So yes, it's a cool iPhone photo and I'm sure it'll get some likes on social media, but it doesn't really make anything interesting. So if you just simply look for stuff in the foreground, interesting elements, and you just move your body ever so slightly, you can place something in the foreground, like so. Let's move back a little bit. Like some rocks over here, a little bit of the grass, and you still get the same marina, but you're actually creating a frame out of the water. You're creating depth. So you're getting this little foreground rocks and kind of clipping the grass here, and you're framing in the water. See, you're framing here to here, and you're kind of using the water as kind of a leading line, starting the eye from the left to the right. So they see these boats here, and these other boats, and kind of follow their eye all the way down the marina, because you're creating a line out of the water. So you're actually creating direction. You're forcing your viewers to start from one end to the other of your frame, versus shooting this way, it's just a bunch of empty space leading right into the boats. Again, not a bad photo, but much better just thinking about what might make the composition a little more interesting to the viewer. Just moving down one little bit, see moving up and moving down just a bit, kind of taming the sky down a little bit and using this as a natural frame for the water, creating direction throughout the frame, getting these beautiful boats in the background and some interesting elements in the foreground to help kind of close in the composition will make for a much better photo even if you're shooting on an iPhone. So thanks for watching another quick tip video and I'll see you guys in the next one.